Anyone who's ever left a bicycle out in the rain knows about rust. Well, I'm told it's actually called oxidation. Dr. Carolyn Morocco is here today to explain this process, but more importantly, help us to understand how antioxidants can be used to minimize the detrimental effects of oxidation. Welcome to the show, Dr. Morocco. It's good to be here. So what exactly is oxidation and how can we avoid it? Well, oxidation happens naturally. When it attacks metals, we call it rust. When it occurs in food, we call it rot or decay. In our bodies, oxidation happens as we create energy, but it does have byproducts, most notably damaging free radicals. Free radicals are a part of the oxidation process? Yes, generally molecules have an equal number of electrons and are balanced. But if one of those electrons is lost through oxidation, then it becomes unbalanced and starts stealing from healthy cells to replace the missing electron. This creates free radicals, which can lead to cell and tissue damage. And free radicals are everywhere. That's why powerful antioxidants like RBC Life Sciences microhydrin are so important for good health. And antioxidants can be used to help reduce this damage caused by oxidation? more than just reduce it. I'm gonna show you how it can stop and even reverse the process. Fresh fruit, like this apple, is made up of living cells. And we all know what happens when a half-eaten apple is left out in the open air. So I've prepared three plates, each with an equal portion of shredded apple. I've left two plates at the mercy of Mother Nature. But for the other plate, I added RBC's microhydrin to the mix. But didn't you say that oxidation is a normal part of the aging process? In general, that's true. But today, our bodies are bombarded with so many external toxic influences, like pollution, drugs, the chemicals in processed foods. And the damage caused by free radicals is frequently accelerated to the point that fatigue and even life-threatening disease are often the result. Even exercise can speed up the creation of free radicals, increasing the possibility of cellular injury. Well, those last two plates are certainly in pretty bad shape, but the first plate with the microhydrin still looks fresh. Now watch what happens when I put some microhydrin on the second plate. Even though the natural deterioration process has already begun on the apple on this plate, microhydrin's antioxidant power will stop the deterioration. So microhydrin can actually stop the damage midstream? More than just stop it. Given time to work, it actually reverses the negative effects of exposure, returning the apple to its original golden yellow appearance. That's incredible. The apple on the first plate hasn't deteriorated, and the apple on the second plate looks almost as good as the first. The third plate, however, is not looking so good. The apple demonstration has shown us the power of antioxidants. Microhydrin takes it even further by providing you with increased energy, endurance, and recovery. If microhydrin can have such a fast, dramatic impact on this apple, just think what it can do for you. Dr. Morocco, thanks so much for sharing this amazing demonstration. It's my pleasure. Here's wishing you a longer, healthier life. See you on the next episode of Health Watch.